I don't know. Um, you know, it's tough to, without looking at the film. I mean, obviously being out there, um, you know, it's they scored a lot of points, but it's been the same thing that's been happening. You know, um, uh, we're not the best individual defensive team anyway, um, but um, we're not doing a good job of helping each other uh, defensively um, at all. And you know, that comes with you know a little bit of. Uh, of, of looking at it and learning, but also uh, more of a sense of urgency. You know, and you got guys that can score, like Paul and Russ and, and Melo. Um, you can't have moments where you're not communicating, you're not talking. So, um, you know, this is everything that we've been dealing with as a group kind of came as one today. And um, you know, so, you know, we got to figure it out together. There's a lot of season left, but most of the really good defensive teams, it's not a flip the switch type of thing. And yeah, that's yeah. kind of where you guys find yourself right now. You need to find a way to flip that switch on the end. But mm. do you still have confidence that the defense can get to where it needs to be <coughs> in time? Well, we can get better. Um, I don't know. I, mean, I, I wish I had an answer for you. You know, I wish I could tell you. Um, you definitely can't flip flip the switch. You know, but you can you can all, you can get better. Um, but you know, what does that look like? What does that mean? Don't know. Um, but you know, uh, the, the the first step into that is showing up tomorrow and figuring out a way and want to get better. Um, that's the only way it's going to change. Um, While well, everybody's in here wearing a Cleveland jersey, and you got to try to figure out a way to get better, to do something more individually um, to help the team defense be better. Yeah. 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 Well, I'm, sh I'm sure everybody's handling their own way. Some might handle it with a couple of bottles of wine, you know. <laughs> some may handle it other ways. But um, you know, I, I think for uh, only speaking on my behalf as a competitor, um, these times suck. But these times is the times that um, you know make everything else. You understand the importance of uh, of winning games. You understand of how hard it is to win the championship. So you it make you appreciate things. You know, when you go through the tough times. Um, you know, so for me, uh, luckily I've been successful enough. Um, but you know, it definitely helps me appreciate you know having success in this league because um, you know you can't take it for granted. No matter how talented your team is, um, you know you, you know, you're a couple of seconds away from not being good. You know, I, I've been blessed enough to win three championships, yeah. but it could have went the other way. You know, so um, you know, just just I appreciate them. I can't play this game forever. One day I won't be playing, and one day I will miss this times. Um, so that's just you know kind of what my conversation was. Hey, Dwayne, there's a lot of fingers pointed at Tibu right now. Is that unfair? Who's, who's pointing them? Just the outside. <laughs> I can't. I don't worry about the outside. Dwayne, when so many things are going wrong, and it's hard to pinpoint one thing to fix first. Like, yeah. Where, where do you start? Yeah, that's a great question. Um, you know, uh, I don't know. You know, we kind of had these internal conversations, um, but I, I think the biggest thing and that that can happen is can't one be sensitive to whatever needs to be fixed. You know, if it's 13 things that's wrong and coach say coach decide to come and point out one thing and you're the one that he points out, you can't be sensitive to it. You know, you got to understand that, you know what, well, you can be better. Um, and this can be done better. Uh, so, you know, uh, we have to you know, take accountability, you know, and, um, and I think we want it, you know, because we want to win um, and we're, we're, we're looking for it. So, um, and hopefully, hopefully over these next few weeks, so before the All-Star break, um, you know, we can start getting a little bit more accountable um, to ourselves and to this team, and uh, just playing a little better. Going on the floor right now, in your eyes, where's the trust level? The trust level? Well, it's not. It's obviously not good. I think you know, on both sides of the, of the floor. I mean, I think you know, the one thing in this game, you know, offense, defense is driven by the offense. It's so unfortunate that it's that way, but a lot of a lot of guys play better when they're involved offensively. So when guys don't feel like they've been involved, they're not getting their shots, not getting their looks, it makes the defense, you know, even hard. So um, the trust not there with everyone feeling involved, everyone feeling like you know they're part. Then it's struggling. We're struggling even more defensively. We're already being the oldest team in the league and not great individual defenders. Um, so it's a lot of parts to it, and um, you know, not trying to make excuses because it's not none to make. Um, but it's definitely, uh, you know, it's definitely trust issues. Uh, from that standpoint, um, on both ends of the floor. Is that thing that's unique to this group of players? What's that? Where, where the offense drops. Uh, it's been unique to a lot of teams I've been on. Yeah. Um, you know, certain guys or individual players, if they're not good offensive players, then they got to be good defensive players, and that's what they kind of be. But 
you know, the success of offense, you know, as you see, if a guy gets a steal and go down and get a dunk, he sprints down the other end, he's watching that next play. It's just, it's the nature of the game. Um, and it's like, as a parent, I try to tell my son not to be that way. But, you know, it's just the way it is. So, um, offensively, we got to do a better job of, you know, moving bodies and moving the ball and making sure everybody feel apart. Uh, if we do that, you know, it'll give everybody more sense of urgency on the other end of the floor. Um, because right now, our sense of urgency um, on the defensive end of the floor, uh, especially to start games and start halves, uh, it just hasn't been where we needed to be. Um, it doesn't have to be perfect. You know, when we get in the game, I, I'm definitely not a perfect defender, and Kyle's definitely not a perfect defender. Um, but, you know, we got to try to be right, uh, have more effort. All right, bro, tomorrow. The West is coming, and we will be ready. Great seats are still available. Get yours today at Cavs.com slash tickets.